Now don't pay attention to the key support team member or Mr. YT. We're paying attention to Mr. Man Bun. Now, Mr. Man Bun's gonna look up at the counter, obviously. Then he's gonna glance over at the bathrooms because, you know, he's got a tinkle or drop a big fat deuce. So he's gonna make his way over there and he's going to grab that door handle and, ah, uh, dang it, hits locked. So he's gonna make his way back towards the front counter to ask a question. It's open unless someone's in it. Someone might be in it, yeah. So unfortunately, somebody is already in there dropping a big fat deuce, so he's gonna stand around and patiently wait his turn. Meanwhile, Baldy right here, he's got his styrofoam cooler, he's got a couple smearing off screwdrivers, and he's got his six pack of Michelob Ultra Gold. Clearly, he's watching his carbs, but he's ready to party, so he exits the building. <laughs> So he's standing there, awkwardly staring at myself and Jack Mary's Smurdy's Maximus. He sees us go back behind the counter and he's thinking, oh, perfect timing. So he makes a break for it and heads back towards those bathrooms. But instead of using the men's room, he decides, you know what? I can't wait any longer. I'm going to use the women's restroom to drop my big fat deuce and take my little tinkle. So when he's done dropping his big fat deuce and tinkling, he's going to exit the bathroom and he's going to make his way down that chip aisle. Nope, he changed his mind. He's going to come around that wine rack right there and he's going to make his way towards the vitamin water cooler. Jackpot. Jackpot. They got body armor, so he's gonna reach in there, he's gonna pull out one body armor, he's gonna look up at the counter, obviously, gotta make sure we're busy, and I am, I'm ringing up his friend, and Jack and Yosef are sitting there chatting it up, so he's gonna make his way down the aisle, keep looking up at the counter, yep, he's good, he hit it to the left of his body the whole time, he exits the building, and obviously, he's gotta go dispose of that evidence. So he awkwardly holds the body armor in front of his body, so obviously, we can't look out the window and see him holding on to something that he didn't pay for, so he's gonna make his way towards the white Nissan that he arrived in, he's just a passenger, his buddy is the driver. Now, his buddy is not a thief. His buddy paid for everything and was super polite. So I was kind of surprised that he'd be hanging out with a thief. So he puts the blueberry pomegranate body armor in the vehicle that he arrived in. And now he's thinking, well, dang, now I got the beverage. I need something to eat. So he closes that door and he's going to do a jog into the gas station. Run, Forrest, run, because he wants some snacks. So he's going to open up that door. He's going to look down that chip aisle right there. But no, he don't want anything in that aisle. So he's going to come down the middle. Oh, looks like he spotted the flaming Hot Cheetos, so he's going to grab a bag of those. $1.89, that's a pretty good deal. And he's going to make his way up to the counter. Now, I didn't see it go down, but Jack did apparently, so I took his word for it without verification. So, Jack makes his way outside, and here I come making my way with my cellular telephone, obviously. Yo! Did you walk in here, grab a water, and then leave? You grabbed a beverage and then walked out, and then you just came back in and bought that? Did you steal? You did it, 100%. Came in, grabbed something, and then left. We saw you grab it out of the cooler, did you? Did you? So you did it. Are you telling me you did it? No. Okay, if you didn't, then you're. No, if you didn't do it, you're fine. And if you did, and if you took it and you didn't pay for it, I'm gonna blow your ass straight up high and low and get out of the way. So now, I'm second guessing myself, like holy cow, we might have just accused an innocent man of stealing. So I went back inside to verify, and I should have just listened to Jack, obviously. Right? No. I don't need any advice from you. Really? No. Don't freaking treat people like you. There's a fucking money. They're stealing. For what? They're thieves. Well, they obviously thought they paid for it. He did it. He walked in. He grabbed it. He walked right out. out. Why don't you fucking find out what you're talking about before you say something? We got the police. We got but the police. Ain't gonna do shit. Here, take your money. I don't want it. Sorry, Karen, but that's not how this works. She go. If you know this thief, let him know that he needs to turn himself into the local authorities so we can properly have him charged with theft for stealing body armor. <laughs>